When it comes to forming new habits, we tend to put a lot of focus on those actions that bring us a few steps closer to our goals. But why don't we talk about avoiding the things that we do that cause us to take steps back from our goals? Something that might be leading us astray from our accomplishments is something called the progress bias. Progress bias refers to our tendency to overweigh our positive actions in support of our goal, while downplaying or ignoring the negative actions that take us away from our goals. This means we pat ourselves on the back heartily for taking the stairs instead of the elevator, but don't think too much about eating that candy bar. The progress bias can lead us to making choices or acting in ways that are counterproductive to our goals without even giving them much thought. For example, let's say your goal is to get your inbox down to zero unread messages and you pledge the first 15 minutes of your day to go through your emails, plus any other time that becomes available for the rest of the day. After your 15 minutes, you pat yourself on the back. But then for the next 15 minutes, you end up chatting with a colleague, and the next 15 minutes, you grab a coffee. And by the end of the day, you've got more unread emails than when you started. Yes, you did your original email sorting, which was a good thing. But after that, your choices moved you further away from your goal. What the progress bias teaches us is that when we are monitoring our progress towards a goal, we need to be mindful of not only what aids us in our goal, but which of our behaviors could be unintentionally moving us right back again as well. We don't want to take note of the steps forward while ignoring the steps back. That could result in us not reaching our goals at all. But don't worry, there are some things we can do to dampen the impact of the progress bias. First off, make your goal snack size, meaning small, realistic, and achievable. Perhaps in the inbox example, the daily goal should be reducing the email unread count by 100 each day, or whatever, depending on the size of your inbox. Smaller, more precise goals mean that you can track your overall progress better. Also, try to list all the behaviors you do that either help or detract from attaining your goal. Consider it a goal balance sheet. Are the things you're doing towards your goal more than the things detracting from it? Can you try to shift more things into the goal support category than the detractor category? See if that helps you towards your results. And lastly, I always recommend an accountability buddy. Sometimes we are doing detractor activities and we don't even know it. An accountability buddy can be the mirror that helps you identify how you might be getting in your own way. And you can also lean on them for support when starting out a new habit or goal. Being aware that we tend to overweigh our steps towards our goal and underweigh the things that we do that cause us to take a step back is really powerful in crafting a great plan to make sure you're getting to where you want to be. Being aware of the progress bias is a great place to start. Thank you for listening. If you liked the video, please hit like or subscribe to get all the updates. If you're interested in learning more about how behavioral science can help you to get closer to achieving your goals, check out the playlist at the top left. To go back to basics, check out my behavioral science primer video, What is a Bias? Thanks everyone! See you next time on Behavioral Sassonomics.